Hey guys, Ashen1 here, and welcome to this Demon's Souls video on how to easily kill the red and blue dragons in World 1, the Boletarian Palace. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Okay, we have two dragons, red and blue, and the earliest we can take down is the red dragon in World 1-2, just after we beat the first boss, the Phalanx. Out on the Lord's Path, the red dragon will follow the player between each section, breathing fire down the path. There are three techniques we can use to slay this Charizard wannabe, and one thing to note is that the red dragon will never actually aim at the player, so we don't have to worry about aggroing it. It will simply satellite the section of the path we are closest to. This is the same for the blue dragon later on. Each section of the Lord's Path is separated by these towers. Which brings us on to our first method of dispatch. Get yourself a decent bow and run straight to the first tower. Kill the mobs and come up to the top of the tower. You will notice that the Red Dragon simply stays in its cycle of burning up the first section of the Lord's Path in a continuous loop. So position yourself in line with the dragon and snipe it as it comes into shot. It may take a few tries to get the aim and timing right, but once you have it down, it's simply a matter of time and arrows before you effortlessly kill the dragon. You will see its health bar appear, and that's how you know you are hitting it. If you are a magic user, then enough spices and a spell like Soul Arrow or Soul Ray can also be used from this sniping spot. If you've seen my video on Hyper Mode, then using Hyper Mode to do this is going to speed this up amazingly. Next is the slightly harder and more dangerous melee way to kill it. Bring a large melee weapon and stand just here at the very beginning of the Lord's Path, next to this burning corpse pile. If you time your swing right, you can hit the dragon as it flies overhead. This can be tricky, so bring a lot of healing items, but if you get it down, you have the opportunity to slay the red dragon with melee attacks. And finally, from the melee spot, if you happen to have the miracle God's Wrath, you can actually get this to hit the dragon. Again, it's all about timing. Stand safely here, and as the dragon disappears behind the rock face, cast God's Wrath. Again, Hyper Mode can be used here, as the AoE of God's Wrath allows you to stay in a position where he can't hit you, but you can hit him. When the dragon is slain, you'll get the small flame-scaled demon soul, and a set amount of souls depending on your game cycle. The small flame-scaled demon soul only has one purpose, and that is to be consumed for 10,000 souls. Okay, so the red dragon is down, and that can be done pretty early on, but the blue dragon is more end game. When you finally get to World 1-4, you will eventually encounter the blue dragon, and there are two positions he can be in. One is here initially, and the other here to finish. Now, we have to range attack this dragon, so that means bows and spells. Bring a shed load of arrows or spices, depending on what you're going to use here. In the first location, we can snipe him easily, but at 50% HP, he will fly to his second location. So it is up to you if you want an easy run across the battlements here, but I would advise waiting until his second location. In his second position, once we run up avoiding his fire breath, as long as we have enough resources, we now have a completely safe spot to snipe him from. Get a nice lock on underneath his chin and try to find a spot where you can get a hit in. I usually find over here on the right to be handy. Time your attacks to the swaying of his head and you will be able to snipe him. Here I use a bow, soul ray and then I finish him with soul arrow, as soul arrow is easier to get if you need it. When it finally dies, you will get the large scaled flame demon soul and a set amount of souls, and a large scaled flame demon soul will give you 26,830 souls when consumed. So there we have it guys, the red and blue dragons down, but all we really get here are souls for leveling. What do you think of that? Should there have been more reward, and do you see this as something you will spend the time to do? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.